My six-month-old puppy, Murphy, loves food. He's a chocolate lab mix, and after I signed the adoption papers, the lady from the rescue laughed. She said, labs are the garbage disposals of the dog world. They never stop eating, and they'll eat anything. Watch him closely. She wasn't joking. Among the list of things we have removed from Murphy's mouth are leaves, bark, grass clippings, clumps of dirt, small sticks, entire tree branches, yarn, books, pillows, blankets, socks, underwear, clean and dirty, houseplants, garden plants, a five-pound dumbbell, yes, seriously, things from inside the garbage can, the garbage can itself, you get the idea. But Murphy's favorite thing in the whole world is goose shit. It is a delicacy in his eyes. It's also our least favorite thing to try to reach into his mouth and remove. Our trainer told us that the only way to get Murphy to not go for the goose shit is to offer him something better. It turns out that the only thing he likes better than goose shit is duck heart. Mm Mmm. Offering Murphy duck heart treats is the only way to redirect him from diving into the literal poo-poo platter on the sidewalk. The funny thing is, your brain works exactly the same way. The thoughts and behaviors you don't like are your goose shit. Addicting, alluring, tantalizing. Okay, maybe that's too far. The point is, you're hooked on them, but they're gross and unhelpful and probably make your breath smell. The way we train our brains to support us in living the lives we want to live is by offering them something better. So what's your duck heart? Is it rock climbing, volunteering, writing, camping, biology, or actuarial science? Whatever it is, offering it to your brain whenever it starts lunging for the goose shit is the only way to get it to stop. Practicing this skill of redirecting your attention and energy towards something better and more pleasant will eventually lead you to a point where your brain will see the goose shit and then remember that there are better choices on the menu. 